Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Have you seen these Dollar Tree frames yet? They're at Dollar Tree, and if you can't get them at Dollar Tree, you can get these on their website. My link to their website is in the description box below. But what's more exciting is that you're not only going to get the tutorial from me today, I am doing a collab with two of my friends here on YouTube, Amber from This Southern Girl Can and Michelle from A Noble Touch Crafts. I want you to make sure you go watch their video, of course, after you watch mine. And I want you to leave them a leaf emoji in their comments. Tell them I sent you. Um, I want you to subscribe to their channels. They love to craft just like I love to craft, and I think you would learn a lot from them. So for me, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree. I'm going to use two, actually, of these frames together, and we're going to use Burlap by the Yard, okay? So this is going to be um, pretty inexpensive to get at the craft store. Use your coupon. You're only going to need a yard of this, not even that much. And even a yard will make two wreaths for you. So I hope you're ready. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do, because, because not all the frames are exactly alike, I want you just to kind, of, to kind of put them on top of each other and see which one is a little bit bigger than the other because there will be one that kind of overlays a little bit more. So this is the one for me. So I'm gonna lay that to the side. And I have just a single piece of the burlap here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay it over the top. And honestly, you could probably get away with a lot less than a yard. But if you use a coupon like at Hobby Lobby, this is like $3.99 a yard. I'm not sure, it's been a while since I bought it. But you can use your coupon and maybe pay just literally a couple bucks for a piece of fabric. So then I'm going to take the other wreath form and I'm just going to gently lay it on top. Okay. So do you see what we're doing here? I like that look. All right. There are so many ideas out there. Oh my goodness. I have seen people use yarn. I've seen them use the burlap and do the bubble wreath. I might do that, kind of show you how to use my bubble technique on that. But there are so many of these out there. So... There's a lot to learn. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little zip tie and I am going to just lift up the other one. So I've got it lifted up and I'm going to run the zip tie through the fabric underneath that bottom frame. Okay, and I'm going to attach it. And what we wanna do is we just wanna get the look, okay? So I, so I did this side, so now let's go do the other side. I'm gonna turn it around, okay? And I'm gonna lift it up. I'm just gonna try to, and I'm gonna do this top side. Now I'm gonna put it right here. Put it down in and then bring it up. Dollar Tree has a lot of cool um, foliage this year, and I'm gonna use what I have because I have so much from years past, because I'm like, are you a clearance shopper? Because when like the craft store has clearance, I'm there all for that. I'm like, you know, I'm there for the clearance. Okay, so it's now starting to get tight. So we did one there, we did one there. So now let's do one on each side here. So I wanna just make sure I get rid, I'm gonna pull it so I get rid of all. And you know, you could even do it. Let's do this one underneath here. So let me flip this over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. And you know what I might just do? I think I'm gonna um, stay as close to the edge as possible, all right? So I'm feeling, here's the wire. I wanna stay as close to that edge as possible. Cause I don't want to, I don't want too much of this to show. Now I'm gonna cover mine with um, something I'm still deciding. I'm, I, I really, <laughs> literally, I, I do this as I'm going here, okay? So then I'm gonna go on this side and I'm gonna pull it up. Just get that like little wrinkle out there. Just gonna keep pulling. And 
this is a good way to use all that like scrap fabric because you know I know you have some fabric at home yes I do if you're like anybody if you're a crafter you've got fabric okay so I'm gonna pull that like this part needs to be pulled put another zip tie it is time to get ready for fall guys it's time to start thinking about it you know, do you go to the store and you're like, where are all the craft supplies at? I mean, I'm like, where did they go? Seriously. All right, so I kind of like that better. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one off and do the same thing on the underside. So maybe get it started on the out and then flip it over, but we've got it started. So I will be right back and I'll switch those two. Okay, so I finished putting all of the zip ties to connect it all. I did add two more here and then two more here just to add a little bit more security. So what are we going to do next? We're going to cut the excess off of our wreath. So when I say a yard, you can see I have lots of fabric left over. So if you wanted to go, if you didn't have quite a yard, you would be okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and I'm going to leave a good amount of fabric around so that I can kind of pull and um, be able to tuck under and not run out of fabric. So you're just going to cut around. When I get to the stem though, I'm not worried about the stem because we're going to make that stem bigger because I just kind of feel like um, when I see these wreaths and you put the decorations on top, you miss the stem. The stem is nowhere to be found. So I'm gonna show you how you can extend that stem of your wreath. So we're just gonna like cut or like right next to it. So I'm gonna just finish cutting it around. Okay, so I've cut all the way around the pumpkin. So I'm gonna flip it over and you're gonna laugh at me. If you're laughing at me at home, it's okay. <laughs> but I have these little tiny, like little clothes pens and I think I got them, a bag of them at the Dollar Tree. I don't know when I found them, but I did. And, but if you have regular size clothes pen, just use those. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the glue on the bar itself. If it comes like, I just got a little bit of glue over there. So over the bar right there, but that's okay. And then you're just gonna take your, your burlap and you are gonna just fold it over. And this is where I'm gonna use these little, like they're like decorative ones, but this is where it's gonna come in handy because I'm just gonna, gonna fold it over like so and let it sit there so it'll help hold it. So all you're gonna do is you're going to do the same thing all the way around, leave the stem alone. We're just gonna fold it over. You could even cut that part out if you want, if it gets in the way. So just go all the way around your wreath and then we'll cut off the excess if we need to. Okay, as you can see, I have it all the way glued around. And what I did, I left a little bit part right here, is I'm taking my scissors and listen, be very careful because you don't want to cut into the front of your pumpkin and then you would have to start all over again and that would just be sad. So I don't want you to do that. So I just was very careful going around. Now, if I saw like a little spot like right here, I would add a little bit more glue and then just hold it down so that it will just stay. Okay, so we have the base of our wreath ready to go, all right? So, so far, we've only spent $2 in the frame and for the amounts of burlap that I've used, I've spent like maybe a dollar, dollar twenty-five. So we've got like three dollars and twenty-five cents into it. So what? This is a part you don't have to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this chicken wire ribbon. You can get it. I don't know if you can see it. See the chicken wire look. You can get this at Hobby Lobby, and I want to say that Joann's or Walmart had it as well. Um, but you're just going to wrap it around. We're going to start it and we're going to wrap it around the stem. Now, if you've watched a video of mine that shows you how to do a burlap pumpkin, I did it a really long time ago. Um, I will leave that link down in the description. I show you how to make a stem 
with some greenery like chicken wire from Hobby Lobby. Now here's the important thing. You wanna make sure that you bend down those wires that are sticking out. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna make a little bit bigger of a stem and I'm going to kind of slant the stem a little bit, okay? But we're gonna like wrap this with like rope or twine or something to kind of cover it up. But what I like about the chicken wire is it lets you kind of make your own look of a stem and kind of make it bigger so it can be more pronounced when you have your pumpkin. So again, this is really totally up to you. I'm just gonna cut it because I think I'm good with how um, big it is. So we're gonna do this. And you're gonna, these little wires, I'm just gonna kind of fold inside but we are gonna cover this with a rope, so it shouldn't hurt a door or anything like that. Now, I'm gonna take some zip ties, and I'm gonna go through this side and this side and the top here, or kind of in the middle, actually, it's not the top, um, so that this wire won't go anywhere. And honestly, this zip tie that I'm putting right here is probably gonna be just enough. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Dollar Tree rope that you can get at Dollar Tree. And by the way, if you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, if your Dollar Tree doesn't carry everything, because that's probably the biggest frustration I get for you is that not everything's available everywhere. So sadly, because of that, there's good news because you can use my link down in the description box below um, for Dollar Tree, and it will take you to the Dollar Tree website and you can order this stuff from there. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of the rope, this has tape on it. We're gonna start it right here in the middle of the frame. So I'm just gonna put some glue right there and we're gonna, that's where we're gonna start it. And I'm gonna just glue this rope and we're going to go around the base of this frame. I'm going to let the black wire show through the top. If you don't want to do that, you could take rope and go. If you don't want these to show, I would do this part first and then add this around it. But I'm going to leave the black because I kind of like the look of it. So I'm going to got that started. So we're just going to go around the whole thing. And what I do want to kind of take note is that the rest that we don't use around it we're going to use and we're going to wrap this stem so just be really careful with your glue make sure that you're not getting too much glue where it will show and you're just going to go around it now once again like if you like my glue gun I have an Amazon shop and I always leave that link in the description box for you guys so this is just fun you know, this is just something fun and cheap to do. Let's be honest. This is a nice, cheap um, project to do. I don't know. I might be keeping this one for my door. So I'm going to just go, I'm going to glue this all the way to here, and then I will come back and I'll show you how to do the stem. Okay, so you can see I've taken it all the way back to where we started. And so now we're going to just take our rope. And there's two things you could do with it. You could wrap the rope around it, um, which is probably the way I'm gonna do it, or you could just kind of zig back and forth. You could just glue it back and forth like this, depending if you have enough rope. But one strand of this rope should be enough to finish this all off, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to kind of catch some areas where we're gonna go across. And then we're just going to kind of just kind of piece it together here. Some more glue going down. Oops. Don't get glue on your fingers. That's probably like number one rule in um, crafting. Don't get the glue on your fingers. <laughs> but you know we do. Okay, we're going to keep going here. Might even put some in the middle there. Why not? Trying to pull this pretty tight across the stem. I'm even going to pull it so that the 
the wire kind of comes in a little bit. Okay, we'll keep going here. All right, so when we get up to the top here, I'm gonna bend back this wire. So I'm gonna press this in so it'll, it'll get attached. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is I wanna bend this back just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go across the top here. A Little bit more glue there. So now that I got that down, I'm gonna to go to kind of zigzag now. I'm not gonna wrap it anymore. I'm just gonna put some more glue. It's got something. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. Okay, so I've got the, um, let's see, make sure it's not upside down for you. This done, it was a little bit, I'll be honest, it was a little bit of a struggle, but you just gotta sit there and hold the glue on. So what I wanted to do is I found this one like little burlap um, twig thing I had. I thought it was really pretty and I liked it with the orange burlap. But honestly, put a sunflower, put several. I had some of these leaves I thought about doing. You could just like stick them inside and just decorate your pumpkin any way you want, you know? Um, you could have leaves coming out the bottom here. It would be really pretty like a pumpkin sitting you know, like if you did this, you'd have a pumpkin sitting on some leaves. So I would put more leaves in the bottom. I think that would be pretty too. So there's just a lot of options. Um, you could do some of these. I don't know if Dollar Tree has these this year. Let me know in the comments below. But the, I like how they take the little stems and put them on burlap leaves. I think that would be pretty. Um, be creative. Just do what you want and have fun with it is, is the most important thing here. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this kind of in the center here and I'm probably going to need to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut a little slit down in here. Okay. Just a little one, just enough so that we can stick it in there off to the side. Okay, not too big. So there we go. And I always like anything that has wire to it so that you can just kind of like mold it to the frame and bend it down so like I can have that, those leaves going down a little bit. So I like that. I just think that's pretty. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go on the back here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot. I'm just gonna take a longer zip tie here where I can go underneath the frame here and I'm just gonna zip tie it to the frame. All right, so that's all you're gonna do and that's not gonna, that shouldn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna bend this down. So it'll say, maybe I'll put another zip tie just over here a little bit. Come on, zip tie, there you go. All right. And so now I know that's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, that's good. Get rid of those ends there. Okay, so we've got our little leaf. I think that is super cute. I really like it. I love how that looks. So I'm gonna put a little bow. Now this is a pretty rustic wreath. So what I'm gonna use is this raffia that I've literally had for forever. I don't even, I think this came from Hobby Lobby. I don't even know, honestly. So I'm just going to unwrap it. All right, so I'm gonna take my hands here. I'm gonna make one end here, all right? So there's one loop, all right? So I've got one end here, and then I'm gonna take the other end, and I'm gonna make another loop and come back, all right? So it's crazy, I know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go underneath. I'm not worried about this guy because I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna show you. And I'm going to twist this really good. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So let's cut. So let's do this. I'm going to take a piece of raffia and this guy, <laughs> this is all kind of like going everywhere. So you're just going to have to trim it up a little bit. All right. So you're going to just take a piece and I'm just going to wrap it over that zip that I keep wanting to say zip tie. It is not a zip tie. I'm wrapping it over the pipe cleaner. Okay. And then I'm going to twist it. Then I'm going to take some more and I'm going to wrap over it some more. All right. All right. And then twist it. Okay. All right. So now you're going to cut your little, this is nice and messy. <laughs> We're just going to cut our ends here, Take all of this out of the way. And we're just gonna play with it. And you can just like, you know, I've got a wispy going on here. Well, we're gonna cut you out here, bud. So I'm gonna just take and kind of play with it. You know, this one is kind of going all over the place. So let's cut that one out. So if they don't wanna behave, I'm cutting them off. All right. So I'm just gonna take my pipe cleaner here and simply go through one end here of the fabric, see? And then I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna tie it off like that. And can you hear the elephants? I'm telling you, they're going full force on me here. <laughs> if this is your first time watching, that's my kids. I work in the basement and yeah, they're having a good time while mama films. So I think that's cute. You know, you just gotta play with these, make them behave. We're like kids. Gotta say, all right, get in your spot, get in time out. But I think that's cute. I like the way that looks. I think it's very rustic. And I might trim these when I hang this up. We'll see. I might trim these a little bit more. Why don't we just do that now? Let's just trim you now. See, what a mess. That's super cute. I'm gonna pull out the sleeve a little bit, kind of help make it obey. But that is your wreath. Now, how are we gonna hang this wreath? That's the kicker, okay? I think this looks really cute. It's hard to see flat. I don't know if you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn it over. All right, I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to go down through in between these two frames on both sides here or wherever you can like I might even you know what I'm going to go through that little branch wherever you can find okay and then I'm going to meet in the middle and I'm just going to twist them and th that should be a good hanger for you and then that way you can hang it behind that stem that we have here. Okay. okay, so I gave my little raffia bow a little bit of a haircut. It's okay, I like this rustic look. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna put it on my door in the fall here. So I hope you enjoyed this. This doesn't have to take a lot of money to make something beautiful to hang on your door. I hope you learned something here and make sure you go check out my girls, Amber and Michelle. Leave them a leaf on their videos to let them know that I sent you. If you're watching this video and you've made it all the way through, leave me a leaf too. So I just hope that you enjoy it. I enjoyed doing this collab with them and maybe we will do more in the future. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more collabs like this. And you know what? I have some more ideas with this pumpkin frame and there's a football frame, guys. You've been asking me to do something with that too and I'm gonna be working on that one probably not what you think I would be making with it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't checked me out on Facebook, Instagram, join my Reef Creators and More group. Make sure you do all things and hit that subscribe button. And until next time in Julie's Reef Boutique, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.